All right, so uh, I came in today to probably hit a few drivers. I actually kind of wanted to look for a new three wood as well. Um, doing some warm up though, I kind of realized my swing is pretty rusty. So uh, it's been nice the last few weeks doing some travel, uh, going to UGP in California. Uh, before that, I was in Florida doing some work with the guys down there, and then obviously working with Larry up in Toronto. Um, but I'm kind of realizing I haven't had that much time to actually apply some of these drills. Uh, and the main one I want to talk about today is what I worked with uh, with the guys at UGP. So um, the foot adjustment that we talked about in the recovery session, making that adjustment. Um, at home, I've got these little foam wedges that they gave me that kind of help me adjust the ankle the way that it should be versus the way that it's kind of, um, I forgot what the word he used is, but basically turned in this way. So I've been doing some of those exercises this week, um, both just standing on one leg with the foot adjusted with the, uh, the wedges, doing some single leg squats. So kind of starting to build a bit of that um, proper I guess proper um, placement of the ankle, but also just getting used to um, applying pressure to it once the ankle's in the right spot. So a little bit of that I've been doing, um, but I haven't yet had a chance to work on some of the stuff at UGP talked about, kind of these one leg finish swings and the kind of things that I can work on to start to develop some trust in the front leg. Um, so yeah, I just figured a little casual session, bit of fun. Um, I'm gonna work on a few of these drills, just kind of talk uh, through it as I go, kind of let you know what I'm noticing. So just as a quick reminder, what we worked on in the gym with Leo was, you know, not super fast swings. As you can see, my balance is crap already, but kind of 50, 60% swings end on the front foot and then try to hold the finish for three seconds, ideally. Took me three tries. I'm definitely noticing that that wants to collapse in and push me back this way. A little better. So for me with my leg injury, I definitely feel a bit of restriction and stretch up here when I'm doing this motion. So I think part of it is I'm not used to actually getting on to that leg and trusting it. I'm used to leaving a bunch of weight on my back foot and then kind of turning through. And at the end of my swing, I'm probably, you know, 40, 60 or so uh, with my foot pressure. So this drill is particularly hard for me. I don't know if everyone watching will have this much trouble, probably not, but for me, it's definitely, it's definitely a tough one. So curious how that feels after doing kind of six to 10 of those and then going in to hit a shot. Interesting. As I would imagine, if I'm hanging back, I've probably gotten used to putting a little extra hand action to square the face. So if I can start to get a little bit more onto the lead side and the hands are a bit more passive, I would think at first I may see a bit of an open face, which I'm not gonna take as a big concern, but just something to keep an eye on. I'm shocked at how difficult this is. If you're watching this and you try this even at home, let me know how hard you guys think this is. I'm curious what other people's experiences with it, because for me, it is a, it's a tough drill, but it's good because I'm already starting to feel like I can, I can trust that front leg a little bit more. Let's hit another one. Bad. Felt really nice. Um, I'm gonna look back at it, obviously wanna edit it, but you guys let me know if the body language you're used to seeing from me through impact looked any different after doing a few of those drills. Did it look a little bit more, you know, down and through and up versus kind of hanging back and late into the finish? Yeah, that feels really good. The motion feels better. There's a bunch of stuff I feel definitely better balance. I feel like I'm finishing more on the front side. It's actually amazing to see how much more club head speed that had. I think that's my fastest club head speed of the day. This is a seven iron. I wasn't trying to hammer it, but that's kind of interesting. I was more like 95 or 96 earlier. Other thing I'm focusing on is what Larry and I talked about recently with my backswing. We talked about, for me, trying to keep the arm swing somewhat in check with the body turn. So 
I'm trying to feel like when the chest stops turning and I want to make sure it turns better, that my arms aren't drifting off. So um, I'm going to watch that back again later, obviously, but hopefully doing a little bit better of a job of keeping this a bit more compact versus letting it get back there. It's a little better. Okay. Yeah, those last two feel really, really different. Better strike quality. It's another quick club bed speed, close to 100. Lots of ball speed. Yeah, really interesting. Okay. Yeah, quite honestly, th three of the best seven irons I've hit in a long time. I'm not focused on speed for that's what I'm looking for, but it is a good indication of how good the strike is and how good the sequencing is. So to see the ball speed creeping up from 130 and the club head speed staying kind of over 98, it's definitely going to be a good drill for me to work on. Um, but again, let me know what that body language looks like to you guys. If it's looking a little bit more this way versus where I used to be, a little more that way, um, and I'll insert a little slow-mo for you to watch with a bit more uh, intention, a little bit easier. Uh, drill number two that we talked about at UGP was this step-in drill. So in order for me to actually properly use the foot, trust it, plant it properly, not collapse the knee and ankle inwards, if I do that, obviously I'm not really going to be able to make a good swing. So the stepping drill focuses on making a solid plant of this foot and then swinging through. So let me try a couple of those. I think ideally I would finish on the front leg and, and be able to hold it, but I might not get too greedy with these. It's a better rep. But after that step drill, this actually feels a little bit easier. That was a really good feeling swing. Yeah. What didn't feel like extra effort, that's a very fast club head reading for me on a 7 iron. Um, and that's a high ball speed reading for me on a 7 iron. Not a perfect strike either. Um, and I'm not trying to put more effort into it. I'm literally just trying to feel that drill um, where I get to the front side and, and lift that foot up. Same sensation. And also have the feeling of the solid foot that I feel when I step into it. So I think when those two things are in place and my brain knows that it can swing through you know, to my front side confidently, I think a little bit more speed is coming in there, which, which is cool. It's not why I'm chasing this. I'm chasing it more for you know, balance and strike quality and consistency, but okay. Couple drivers, I just want to feel the same sensation. I don't think it's super urgent and necessary to do the same drill right away with the driver, but for me, as someone who, um, you know, I'm curious how this will affect the driver swing because I really do, with a driver, tend to hang back, get very in to out and too up on the ball. I'm curious if I can, even just, you know, through doing, you know, 15, 20 minutes of these drills, trusting my lead side a little bit better. Can I start to even out my angle of attack a bit in my um, in to out path? Neutralize them a bit, and then I'm curious what that does to the ball flight. Okay, decent. Not shocked by the pattern in terms of it going a bit left, but that's fine. Certainly for our first one. Good. All right, driver. That's interesting. 
that definitely felt different. To be perfectly honest, halfway down, I felt like I was going to pull that badly because my body actually felt kind of, <laughs> and my body actually felt kind of open and on my front side, and I thought, did I just hit that dead right? That's a different sensation. I don't think I've felt quite something like that before. Yeah, that felt really good. I actually feel like I can trust this motion a little bit better. Um, yeah, I really just wanted to share with you guys just my first serious practice session. I've probably been hitting balls for about, I want to say 40 minutes, 45 minutes or so. I've obviously condensed this to make it not horrifically boring for you to watch. Um, just wanted to give you guys an idea of kind of going from um, the lesson videos I did at UGP, learning these drills to actually applying them. What would that look like for me in a practice session? What kind of results will I see, you know, even on day one? Um, and so far I would say it's encouraging. I, I can definitely see this being worthwhile for me to pursue. I'm feeling muscles kind of in, in the leg and ankle that I haven't felt in a while, which to me is a good sign because I know I'm, I'm definitely getting into a more solid balanced place. And um, if I'm engaging different muscles, that means I was probably, you know, in a sloppy position before that didn't require them to, to get that stability. So um, positive first session for me. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, do you enjoy kind of a little casual practice session that I can talk through and give you guys some feedback about how it's going? Because I'm happy to do this stuff kind of whenever um, as I go through it. can do it with my right-handed swing as well. Um, so fun for me and good for me to get some practice in. If you have questions about what I was working on or what ball flights I saw or how it felt, uh, leave them in the comments. I will definitely get back to you. And I will hopefully be doing some club reviews in the next week or so, just waiting on a couple clubs to come in uh, so I can do some driver um, head-to-heads and stuff like that that you guys have been asking for. So uh, stay tuned for that. They're definitely coming. I just wanted to get the swing a little bit more tightened up uh, before I did that stuff. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.